Well, I stayed in the house too long after lunch, and I hear a tractor running. I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome back, everyone. It is time to start getting everything ready to go farming this spring. So we're going to bring tractors into the shop, get all that... Uh, equipment maintained that we need to get ready before seeding starts and Ariot in this whole craziness of everything that's going on wants to help everybody out and if you are a farmer or someone like that's essential workers right now they want to give you a hundred dollar gift card so watch this video and I'll later tell you how to qualify to get one of those hundred dollar gift cards they gave me three of them to give away so Keep watching this video guys and let's go get some shop work done. It's in a ride. Whoa! Get it? Hit, hit, hit in a ride. Well, you guys have all been asking for equipment tours and rather than me doing just one video for equipment, one video for trucks right now, I'm just going to like tell you what everything is as we bring them into service and to get ready for the season. This is a 2004, 2005, so I think it's a four though, STX 450. Uh, we bought this one in about 2006, but it had a, no, it would been later than that. It had 1400 hours on it. Now it has about 6,200 hours on it. Still has the original tracks on all the way around, but they are getting down there to where soon we will need to replace them. We did about in 2016, we redid the clear coat on this, took and scrubbed down the oxidization off of it, re-clear coated it, and it looked fantastic for about two years, and now it needs to do it again. Or just repaint the whole tractor i don't know or trade it i mean there's options this is not factory for this to be turned out like this normally they swing out of the way as you steer the tractor but we added an air ride cab suspension kit to it because there's no suspension on these older tractors for the cabs and that is a really really handy thing to have way better ride than it used to the downside is this does kind of get in the way i think those are still available i'll i'll see if i can find them if i can find them i'll get them in the description down below where you can find them cab cab kits besides that it's pretty much just a standard tractor this tractor did not come with a factory gps in it it was added after the fact it's a hydraulic steering system but uh it is controlled by this topcon monitor um at one point we were doing a whole bunch with that one monitor we we're putting liquid fertilizer on with our air drill, steering, mapping. At one time we actually ran our air drill all on that screen too, but we haven't done that for a while. We have a modem in here for RTK correction. So these tractors are running the most accurate GPS available right now that I know of. I don't think there's anything any better now, but uh, luxury cab, leather seats comes with that the carpet on the floor i'll show you guys a few other things in here uh these are the remotes for running the hydraulics there's four of them plus this one here is the number five we have that one actually change out to a rocker switch because it used to run a hydraulic motor this is a throttle and this is our gear shift up and down this up here is our gear select so we have it in park forward neutral reverse different controls up top here and you can't forget the fun box. This thing, they claim 30% horsepower boost out of that when it's turned up to the high setting. So it makes 450 into 550-ish, 560 horse. It pulls good. The tractor used to power out pulling some of our hills. And now when we're pulling some of our big hills, it will actually spin out where it used to power out. So I know it's adding some power to the engine.
It is time to awaken the sleeping beast. If it'll start. Batteries are on. Let's see if it'll fire up. So this is our 2015 Kiss Age quad track. It is, uh, has 36 inch tracks, it has a PTO on it, has six remote so we can run up to an implement with six different uh, features on it. Then we hook up back here. There's a PTO down there. This is the first tractor that I actually bought. We bought it back in the fall of 15. It had around 200 hours on it. This pulls our 80 foot drill also can pull our grain cart since it has a PTO. It is a little bit different inside compared to the other tractor. Like I said, it has more storage stuff in it. All the radio and uh, climate control stuff. Lights are all on the side now instead of up here like on our other quad. Similar shuttle shift. Similar throttle and gear selection. Hydraulics are similarly laid out. Differential locks, auto differential locks. Some other settings there. Cruise control. Or RPM lock. This is a PTO engage. Lots more information all up along here. I got engine temperature and fuel. A bunch of warnings will show up there if they come up. 2007 hours. So this is a screen. You have all these different ways you can configure what you see. Coverage map, all your GPS information. Lots of different things on here. This button will engage your steering for your auto steer as well as this button down here. Well, I got the oil changed and I managed to make a pretty good mess. Oil is changed. Got to top off a little coolant. Flux capacitor seems like it's all right. That tractor's warming up, so we can change oil in that. I need to wash a few things off underneath this one. We had an oil leak. Hydraulic oil leak on the transmission last year. Remember that? I forgot the battery line. But it's all dirty up underneath there, so I'm going to wash that off. And then we're going to change uh, some seals on the bulkies on this one. That one's all done minus an oil change. And then we'll hook up air drills. This is the 2004 Kesa H MX 200. As you can see, it does have a loader on it. We used to use this for occasionally feeding cows, haying when we had cattle. Um, now we're using it again a little bit for moving some bales and stuff like that. It at one time pulled a sprayer, pull type sprayer, um, pulled a land roller, grain cart when we had a smaller grain cart, but uh, now. Kind of just a loader tractor we keep around the farm. Run a auger if we need it or our uh, big brand conveyor at harvest time. This is a tractor that we pulled the motor on last year, fixed a few oil leaks on it. One of the first videos we actually put on YouTube. But uh, we bought it with a few hundred hours on it. Same shuttle. This one has an easy steer on it because it's not a uh, integrated hydraulic steering like the other tractors. Also is ran by a 750 um, easy steer trimble case monitor motor controls controls are over here on the fender for your um, air conditioning and stuff like that compared to up here in the other 04 case tractor we have but this tractor did just get greased um, the loader got greased and as well as oil change so it is ready to go for the season 
brought to you by shameless plug for do it yourself headlight polishing. Ooh, Ooh that is nice. That is better. Look that at that. Better. Well, the uh, maintenance is done, and to put off cleaning the shop, we're going to lock some tractors. Well, we still do have one tractor, well, one more field tractor to bring in to get serviced yet. That's at 370. But we're waiting for some engine oil and warmer temperatures to wash that off outside first. We're gonna have to clean the shop now. Get a bunch of stuff off the floor, organize what we can, and then sweep everything up, make it all clean. And uh, yeah, I like to do this a lot. I mean, like point and whatever. So much fun, so much fun. Service truck is getting serviced. That's weird. But uh, as you can see, the shop really doesn't look much different because when you start sorting through buckets of junk and bolts and whatever, it just takes a long time. Maybe by tomorrow. Two thousand and fifteen Kiss IH Magnum three seventy CVT. This tractor is a lease tractor. It uh it's about the wind. We didn't know if uh how much we would use it. That's why we leased it instead of buying it. But it's uh use it for all the grain cart as well as land roller, um, a few other things. But uh yeah, this tractor we've had year and a half now on this lease. Let's show you what's inside. All right, shuttle shift, just like all of our other case tractors. This, which is normally a throttle on our other tractors is actually the propulsion lever. So that's what makes us go forward. And the further we push it, the faster we go. These are our throttles, maximum throttle, minimum throttle. And then if you set those like that, when we drive, push this forward to whatever speed we wanna go, and the engine will adjust the speed to match. This uh, adjusts in our range how fast we go, this dial, and then we have three different ranges that we can use here. Uh, it has four remotes here, one of them controlled here, makes five total. PTO set up basically like the inside of our other um, Magnum. Nineteen ninety four Case IH fifty two forty. Um, how many hours does this have on it? Any idea? Six thousand? Five thousand, something like that. It uh, used to be our primary feed tractor. We had cattle, and we pulled a baler with it at one time. But uh, just kind of gets used for odd loader jobs now, loading hay, yard work, whatever. Had a rough day yesterday. You'll have to watch the next video to find out what happened to that. Does need a new tire. Those tires are all dry rotted and cracked out. Maybe one of these days we'll do uh, get this thing all fixed up, repainted. Maybe, no guarantees. Shuttle shift, same forward and reverse, neutral. Um, this is actually a quad range. So this is our main gears and then these are power shifts inside each range. Uh, PTO, two remotes, hydraulics. That's about it. Loader to control, super clear windshield. 95 farm all you i have no idea what year this one is we use it for augers um, super handy open station easy to hop on and off it works great for things in the yard just a kind of a cute little tractor i must say 
shuttle shift like the other tractors. Throttle, PTO, loader controls, gear shift, tri range plus a quad range and a high low. I don't know what they call it exactly. Two remotes, three point. That's about it. Older than the dirt, McCormick International B275. This is our tree tractor. We use this one for cultivating trees, the only tillage you do on our farm. Uh, what is this thing, a five speed? Four speed with the high low, uh, kill, throttle, three point. Pretty simple. Case, I have no idea on what year. Just case, not case IH. Just case, 430. This is the last tractor Grandpa bought. Uh, he bought it to put the bush mower on the back of it. It's a gas. This is our only gas tra powered tractor on the yard. But uh, yeah, basic transmission, two clutch. It's not like the other tractors where, oh, what do they call that? Live, live clutch, live PTO. Live PTO, that's what I'm talking about. It doesn't get used much. It, uh, has a cracked out rim from chloride in the wheels. So it just sits in here now. We need to fix that up someday. And last but not least, our electric loader tractor. That one. Two speed with reverse. Comes with a loader and a roll cage. Girls drive this thing all over the yard. All right guys, so if you wanna know how to qualify for the drawing, all you have to do is comment down below. Tell me what's going on during this COVID deal at home for you. And we'll do a random picker and we'll, we'll pick all three from this video. So drop a comment below and uh, let me know what you've been doing in all this craziness. And uh, we'll get you that gift card.